when this country was being divided into two countries into india and pakistan when the partition was being done there was one islamic organization in this country which stood up against the partition and rejected the idea of partition jamiat ulma hind convinced the indian muslims that india is their country and they will have to stay in this country and they rejected the idea of partition they rejected the idea of muhammad ali jinnah and during the partition muhammad ali jinnah had said a historical statement and let me tell you what he had said he had said that the muslims who that the muslims who chose to stay in this country will spend the rest of their life proving their nationalism and patriotism and i don't feel what he said was right and true but there is a man in this country there is a chief minister of a particular state or rather let me take his name because i'm not scared of him yogi adityanath chief minister of uttar pradesh has issued a circular a circular to all the islamic institutions and madrasas of uttar pradesh telling them that you have to hoist the national flag on 15th of august sing the national anthem and make a videography of it i don't have a problem with it I'm absolutely fine with it. In fact, I am saying it's a brilliant idea and a brilliant initiative to inbuilt and inculcate the, the the feeling of nationalism and patriotism into people and to give them moral education. But I have a question for you, Mr. Yogi Adityanath. There are thousands of organizations in this country. There are Islamic organizations. There are Hindu organizations. There are Christian organizations. There are Jain organizations. there are sikh organizations there are parsi organizations there are schools there are ngos there are hospitals and many more institutions but out of all these organizations why did you choose to target only the islamic organizations and the madrasas of up why did you send the same circular to all the different organizations why did you choose to only send the circular to the muslim organizations and the madrasas of up when we have to prove our nationalism and patriotism by making a video of it and then sending it to you i ask you ladies and gentlemen will this not hurt the sentiments of muslims in this country mr yogi adityanath you want a certificate from us proving that we are nationalist and patriot people then let me ask you a simple question do you know the person who had designed the indian national flag are you aware and everybody who's seeing this video right now i would like to ask all of you and especially mr yogi adityanath do you know the person who had designed the indian national flag it was a girl her name was suraya tayyab ji a muslim girl i quote a muslim girl from hyderabad had designed the indian national flag and 70 years back muslims are being questioned on their patriotism and have been told to take a photograph of themselves a photograph of themselves hoisting the national flag will it not hurt the muslim sentiments i ask you ladies and gentlemen 70 years back a muslim girl had designed the national flag and 70 years later these sanghi and rss people are questioning our patriotism and nationalism mr yogi adityanath you forced me to remind you of history today Let me remind you of something. On 26th of January 1930, when Pune Swaraj was adopted in the session at Lahore, and a circular was distributed across the country telling them to hoist the national flag, the tricolor. It was RSS which distributed a circular against this circular, saying that the tricolor is not a national flag. but the bhagwa jhanda or the saffron flag is a national flag now ladies and gentlemen i ask you did the muslims in 1930 reject the national flag of this country over the rss it was the rss and it is the same rss who's questioning our patriotism and telling us to get ourselves photographed while we are while we are hoisting the national flag and then later it was savarkar and golwarkar of the rss who rejected the national flag of this country On 14th of July 1946, Mr. Golwarkar was addressing a gathering in Nagpur. 14th of July 1946, he said, "I I quote to you what he said. He said that the saffron flag represents the totality of Indian culture and not the tricolor. 
It was Gulwalkar and RSS man who rejected the national flag of this country and left the Muslims. And it is the same people who are questioning our nationalism and patriotism and telling us to get ourselves videographed and photographed while we are hoisting the national flag. 15th of August 1947, on the midnight when a national flag was being hoisted in Delhi, a historical moment for us, a moment which for years we will celebrate till the end of our life, till the last breath that we take, we are going to celebrate that moment, that midnight when the national flag was being hoisted. Even on that midnight, these RSS people said that the three colors in the flag itself symbolizes evil and is dangerous to the country. It was RSS which rejected the Indian national flag and not the Muslims. And even after independence, for years, in the RSS headquarters, the Indian national flag was not hoisted. And today you are questioning our nationalism and patriotism. I tell the RSS institutions, you host the national flag and take a picture of it and upload it on social media, give it to the news channels. Because you need to prove your nationalism and patriotism and not us. It is sad that two days before the Independence Day, I am being compelled to make such a video where I have to expose such people. We have been hoisting flag, we have been singing the national anthem and we have been clicking pictures of it. And even on this Independence Day, we will hoist our flag, we will sing the national anthem, we will take a picture of it, we will make a video of it. But we will not send it to you because we don't need a certificate from you. In fact, you need a certificate to prove your nationalism and patriotism. Share this video so that it reaches that man. It reaches Mr. Yogi Adityanath because I feel he hasn't read history and he does not know what his organization has done in the past. It was his organization which rejected the national flag. It was his organization that did not take part in the national free, that did not take part in the freedom movement of this country. Share this video and let him know that. Muslims have fought for the freedom of this country. Even Muslims were involved in writing the constitution of this country. So don't try and target a particular community. It's been 70 years of our independence. Ab to sudhar jao. For the past 70 years we have been fighting on these issues. It's time that we resolve these issues and we bring it to an end we come to a consensus and we start working for the betterment of this country. And we can only do that by getting rid of these RSS and Sanghi organizations. Thank you so much and please share this video.